You write in, in your book about uh, uh, the pressure and then an eating disorder, which in my ignorance I always thought was something that was for teenagers or mm. younger people, but such was not the case. What, what happened in your case? Well, um, I don't know what happens it, it, because it's, um, it's food related, obviously, but it's, it's, um, it's not about food. It's about something going on in here and uh, it's very distressing. And I didn't really want to write about it because I'd kept it a secret, which is what you do with an eating disorder. And that's why it's very difficult to get help for people who have it. Sure. Um, you tend to um, really be very ashamed of yourself. And dis I was very disappointed in myself because I've always thought of myself as quite a strong person. And I thought, why is this happening to me? And why can't I control it? Um, and it wasn't until a friend of mine took me to one side and told me that she was suffering from it. And I, she didn't know I was. And I realized I was, could be kind to her. You know, I was very understanding and kind, and I thought, why can't I be kind to myself uh, instead of feeling so racked with guilt and shame? But because we both confessed to each other, we then went and got help. Yes. And that, that's to be able to say it out loud to someone. Um, is very hard, but it's the beginning of the cure, really. Liberating? Mm? Is it liberating? I wouldn't say it's liberating. Yeah. It's a struggle. It's a long struggle. Okay. It's, you don't get mended like that. Yes. And, but I think for anyone who has it, I think you really need to go and get help, talk about it, get help, because it's, it's the only way you're going to get through it. And there is a way through it. Look at me, I'm through it. And what, I, what brought you to the point of, of getting, have you, on reflection, have you, have you discovered what? I, don't, I, you know, I really don't know. Really? I mean, I used to diet a lot, as we all do, you know. When I was in, in, in drama school in the 60s, yes. it was the era of Twiggy, and everyone had to look like a stick, you know. And, and by nature, I don't look like a stick, you mm. know. Um, but we all used to try and starve ourselves. And it's like, it, well, it's even worse today. You know, the, the di every page on the, in the newspaper, the magazine is the latest diet and how should, you should look. And the pressure on um, people is even worse now than it was when mm. I was a youngster. But I think it was also a build-up of um, things I hadn't dealt with in my life, sure. things I just buried and carried on, paint the smile on and get on with it. Yes. I just hadn't dealt with a lot of issues, and I think all that bound, bound together got me at a weak time and I found solace in food.